Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about fractions that are at the same point on the number line. So our learning goal for today says, I can recognize and show that equivalent fractions refer to the same number or the same point on the number line. So that means that there's going to be labeling more than one fraction at each point. So the materials that you'll need for today's lesson are a dry erase board. You'll need five four and one quarter strips or one quarter inch by one inch fraction strips, a blank piece of paper, crayons, and glue. Well, I actually, actually need scissors too, so make sure you grab scissors. Okay, so I'm going to tell you how to make your fraction strips for today. Okay, so if you've already made your fraction strips, you can actually kind of skip forward through this part of the video. Uh, but if you have not, this is how you would make your fraction strips. So you're going to take your piece of paper, your standard sheet of paper that you have here. Okay, um, face it just like you would write on it. So it's the long way like this. Uh, then you are going to cut straight down the middle. So fold your paper in half like a hot dog. Okay, and they're going to cut straight on that line across just like that. And then you'll end up with two sheets of paper. You're going to bring in a ruler and find one inch, mark straight across on there, and then you're going to cut there as well. So you will need five strips of paper. Oh, so I only show four, but you actually need five. So make sure that you grab five uh, strips, cut out five of those. All right, so you're going to start with one of them. We're going to make different fractional units with our fraction strips. So just like we've done in earlier lessons in this module, um, we're going to do something very similar to that today. So first, fold your first strip into halves. So right here down the middle, fold it into halves. Then you're going to label each part with a unit fraction. Okay, Use the fraction to shade one in one half, and then you're gonna glue that fraction strip at the top of the blank page that you have. So you're gonna do just like this, fold it in half, label each one as one unit, and then shade one of them, and then glue it to the top of your page. Don't glue it in the middle, because we're gonna be gluing things right underneath this as we continue with our lesson. So definitely glue it closer to the top, um, and if you wanna put it in the middle, that's fine. Just make sure that you leave room on the side to be able to write something later. Okay, so pause the video, fold in half, label each unit, shade, and then glue on your paper. And then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so now we're going to fold our next one into fourths. And how do you fold into fourths? Well, first, you're going to fold your strip in half. Keep, your folded, keep it folded, and then fold in half again. And then open your strip and you have fourths. Okay, so you're going to do that with this paper. You're going to split it into fourths. You're going to label each part with a unit fraction and shade. Oh, no shading yet. Sorry. Glue your fraction strip directly below the one, um, the first one on your paper. Okay, so model just like mine. Glue it right below your halves fraction strip. And then make sure that your ends are lined up. So you need the ends of each strip to be lined up together. Okay. All right, so pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, this is what it should look like. Okay, see how my ends are lined up nice and neat? So I'm comparing the whole, the each hole to each other. Okay, so shade the number of fourths that are equivalent to the shaded half. So how many one-fourths do you need to be equivalent to one half. Pause the video. Get going with your shading. Make sure that you, when you're shading, friends, you're using a crayon uh, that is light enough that you can still see the unit fraction through it. So you want to be able to still see that. Otherwise, it might be a little bit more challenging to do the rest of the lesson. So use a light color or make sure you shade lightly if you're using a darker color. All right, so how many units did you shade? Well, let's try it. So here's one, I'm not, not equivalent yet, I'm not to the same point. Oh, now I am. So I used two units is how many I had to shade. All right, so fold another strip into eighths. 
Okay, the way that you fold a strip into eighths, I don't think I have that on here, I do not. The way that you fold that into, stri into eighths, friend, is do the same thing. Fold it in half first, keep it folded, fold it in half again, and then keep it folded and fold in half one more time. And that should give you eighths by folding. So you don't have to kind of draw that uh, on your own. So basically just fold in half um, so you have the eighths. Okay. Then you're going to label each part with a unit fraction. And then you're going to glue that directly below the um, fourth strip on your paper. Okay, make sure the ends are lined up again. So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, pause if you need more time. All right, so shade the number of eighths that are equivalent to the shaded half and two fourths. Okay, so pause the video, get your shading going so it's the same as one half and two fourths. How many units did you shade? Pause if you need more time and you haven't finished shading yet. Okay, otherwise, let me shade here. There's two units, three units, four units to be able to be equivalent to one half and our fourths. So write the shaded fraction to the right of each fraction strip on your paper. If you don't have room on the right, it's okay. Just write it on the left. No big deal. So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, here we go. All right, so here's one half. I have one fourth and one fourth. That's two copies, so two fourths. And I have four copies of one eighth, so that's four eighths. The fractional units are different. Are these fractions equal or equivalent? Ah, well I hear some of you saying since the fractional units are different, they're not equal. And some say, well they have a different number of shaded parts, so I'm not sure. And then I heard some other friends say the same amount of the fraction strip are shaded for each one, so that must mean they're equal. So it kind of seems like we're uncertain about what we're trying to, to decide if whether that they're equal or equivalent to each other. So besides our fraction strips, what's another tool we can use to test to see if they're equivalent? What else have we learned about with fractions? Yeah, we've learned about a number line, right? So we're gonna place your whiteboard under the fraction strip folded into halves. Use the fraction strip to measure the number line from zero to one. Label halves and then rename the whole and label one half. Okay, so basically, friends, all you're doing is drawing a number line that's the same length as your fraction strip. So that's why you're lining your board up underneath it. Okay, so pause the video, do that. That should say from zero to one. So make sure you're labeling from zero to one on your number line. Okay, and then labeling, partitioning into halves and labeling one half. So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, your number line should look like this. Here's your zero and one, and we're labeling one half in the middle. So zero halves, one half, and two halves. Okay, so now we're going to move your board down so that your number line is under your fourth fraction strip. So we're gonna be looking at the fourths and the halves. Okay, so I'm gonna model this way. So just how your number line's right there underneath the fourth, same as mine. Okay, sorry. All right, so on the same number line, you're gonna label fourths. Okay, so I'm gonna model for you because it's a little bit tricky to do the same um, use the same number line to model more than one set of fractions. So here I would split it into fourths. So now I have one fourth, there's two fourths, three fourths, and then four fourths is already there. So I would go in and label. I don't have to draw, by the way friends, I don't have to draw another, another line at one half uh, because that's already there. So I can use that same line. So I have zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. Okay, so pause the video and add that to your number line as well. And then click play once you have your fourths labeled 
on the same number line as your halves. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so are there any fractions located at the same point on the number line? So the way that you would know that is if there's a fraction on the top and the bottom. That tells us that there's a fraction located at the same point. Oh, yes, there are, you're right. One half and two fourths are at the same point on the number line, so right there. We also have four fourths and two halves and zero fourths and zero halves, because that's zero, so we already know that those are gonna be the same. What does it mean when two fractions are at the same point on the number line? It means they're the same. The fractions have must be equivalent because they're at the same point. I can use the equal signs to show that the fractions are equivalent when I write them. So for example, I could say one half equals two fourths. The equal sign is like a balance. It means the same as. So we prove that with our number line, as long as the total values on both sides of the equal sign are the same, we can use it to show equivalence. So now we're gonna fold our last two fraction strips into sixths and thirds. Okay, so how to fold in sixths. So you guys know how to fold in thirds. So to fold into sixths, you're gonna fold your strip into thirds keep it folded, and then just fold it in half one more time. And then when you open the strip, you have six. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video. Fold your two fraction strips into thirds and sixths, and then click play once you've done that and you're ready for the next step. All right, friends. Okay, so we're gonna label the parts with unit fractions and then glue the strips below the other fraction strips on your paper in order from least to greatest, okay? So you have your two fraction strips, you folded them into thirds and sixths. Now draw the lines to represent where they're folded and put in those unit fractions and then glue them on to your paper with the other fraction strips. And then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. But here are my thirds, and here are my sixths that I've labeled. All right, so we're gonna shade one third, then shade the number of sixths equal to one third. So pause the video, shade one third, and then how many sixths do you need to be equivalent or equal to one? I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, so how many sixths are equivalent to one third? So pause the video, do some shading, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, here's my one third. Now I'm gonna shade my six. Oh, now they're the same. So we need two units of one six to equal one third. So now we're gonna draw a new number line using six and thirds, okay? Find and label all of the fractions that are equivalent to thirds and sixths. So remember the way that you want to do this when you're using the number line for more than one fraction. I, for this one, friends, I would start with thirds. And I would label thirds on the number line. And on the bottom half, I would label all of the thirds. Zero thirds, one thirds, two thirds, and three thirds. Then partition that same number line into sixths, okay? and then label on top the fractions for sixths, okay? Also, friends, use your fraction strips here to help you. That's what they're there for. Follow that line down for one-third, and then where two-thirds would be, and then come here and follow your line straight down for where your sixths would be. All right, so pause the video, label those, and then find the equivalent fractions for thirds and sixths. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so here's my number line. We're at, um, I'm gonna label my thirds first, okay? 
So look, these are all my endpoints. Remember, you start with your endpoints, and then I'm going to partition into thirds. Follow those lines straight down from your fraction strips. Now you can label 0 thirds, 1 third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds. Now we're going to label our sixths. Follow those lines straight down. I don't have to draw this one here because it's already the next one that's there for us. So if I were to go keep going, they're there. Some of them are already there for us. Now we'll label those. Okay, now we have to find and label all of the equivalent fractions. So that would be where they're on the same in the top and the bottom. So here I have at zero, of course, they're the same. Also have two sixths and one third, four sixths and two thirds, and then six sixths and three thirds. Did you guys get that too? Okay, awesome. All right, so bravo to you guys for recognizing and showing that equivalent fractions refer to the same point on the number line. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends!